Meteorologist Lauren Linehan with more rain on the horizon for Thanksgiving week. Meteorologist Matt Daniel and Mickey Ferguson share some tips for navigating slick roads. So Mickey, uh, yeah. this morning was driving up Red Mountain. Mm -hmm. It's raining. The leaves are everywhere. It's kind of slippery. Slip I have sliding. a little bit of hydroplaning issues. Yeah, going on. have some spinning in the tires. You got the front wheel drive or the back wheel drive. Yeah, one yeah. of those. Yeah, okay, something but, like that. Okay. <laughs> that is drive. <laughs> but yeah, we had to deal with that this morning. All right. We might have to deal with a little bit of rain by the end of the week and even going into next week. So we want to make sure you stay safe. And we always say slow down when it rains. Well, this graph, it explains why. Yeah, here's a comparison. When it's dry, uh, if you're going like 35 miles an hour, in order to stop, you need to give uh, about 130 to 170 feet. So that's basically 50 yards on a football field. Okay, so halfway through, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, well, if it's just raining, uh, it can take 150 to 195 feet. So uh, that's about 50 to maybe 75 yards or so, I would guess. But when you have leaves and it's raining, mm -hmm. you have to slow down even uh, more. That's 275 to 360 feet. Um, and that, it, what is that? Well, that's, that's about 100 yards right there. Okay. And if there's ice out there as we get into the winter months, you need to allow for even more stopping distance because you can go slip sliding away in a hurry. Sometimes just the engine slowing you down is a good idea instead of hitting those brakes. Yeah, so whenever you encounter something like that, we, you never want to slam on the brakes. You just want to get off the gas pedal, slow it down slowly, take it easy. Otherwise, you can be slipping a good bit, especially when you have the wet leaves or in th the case of winter time, ice and snow. So what about the time? Uh, we just looked at the distance. Let's talk about how long it takes. Well, three to four seconds when it's dry, but uh, that really uh, goes up the scale to three to five seconds when it's wet. And then we've got the wet leaves and the ice that causes yeah. even more of a stopping distance. Anywhere from 8 to 12 seconds to 14 seconds, you just need to really be careful out there. That's right. So, you know, the leaves still falling, and we're going to still have to deal with this perhaps Friday when we have a chance for some showers. And early next week, we could see some wind and rain that could not only give us that rain and wet roads, but also the leaves could be falling down as well. So I definitely want to take it easy on the roadways, especially for next week. Because it's just been a while since it's rained, and, and even the oil itself rising to the surface could present its own problems. Y'all be careful out there, and hopefully we'll get that much-needed rain.